about my sewing plans for this month. I filmed the drawings in the beginning of this month, I believe, but I just didn't have time to sit and to do all the rest. I just received yesterday the patterns, so uh, the patterns, some patterns I wanted to use in this month. I still didn't buy fabric, I just didn't have time to sit down and just look at all, all my plans. There were a lot of things I needed to do for another um, another blog I have uh, at ahwardrobe.com. There are several new posts, you can check it out, that are kind of uh, inspirational for your spring wardrobe, uh, maybe kind of transition into summer. Yeah, and the month of March is all about short dresses there. I'm not a fan of short dresses, but anyway, uh, if you're interested, check it out. And there is also another YouTube channel for this, where I'm not going to put videos every every week, but I'll put some videos how like I'm coming with it. There are so many bloggers who are part participating with their uh, sewn short dresses, so you can see, compare, maybe uh, you will find someone with your similar curves or your similar style and you can get the new ideas for your handmade wardrobe. But now let's go back to my sewing plans for my handmade wardrobe. Uh, and yeah, uh, this month the most kind of the most important thing for me is I want to draw my slopper for the upper part of my body and the slopper for a skirt. I really really hope I can do that. I have I have two courses. One is from Etsy. Etsy. One is from Craftsy. I always like this C thing and kind of get mixed up. <laughs> one is from Craftsy and another one, and another one is from one uh, Russian woman. She, her name is uh, Irina Mikhailovna Paukshne. She has her YouTube channel. It is in Russian, so if some of you speak Russian, just check her out. She's just a bomb of inspiration. This just, I don't know, since since I started watching her channel, I just cannot stop and I want to watch all the videos and there are so many ideas going on in my head. I'm going to draw a slope also using her curls. I will check, like kind of compare. First I'll go with her slopper and if something I will not be very sure, I will just get mixed or something, then I will go and check out the Craftsy one. I have already also get it. So let's see how it will all go, but I'm super excited. Uh, I'm super excited to do that this month. And also I want to sew, I want to sew uh, things uh, for myself and for Alejandro. As you remember from my spring sewing plans uh, video, I've made plans, but I didn't write plans for him there, so I've added small small notes there just for me to know. I've been asking him what do you want and he's like oh, whatever do things for you and I decided to add things I think he needs for his wardrobe. Uh, he agrees with everything and I'm very happy. <laughs> Jumping forward I've been thinking if I'm going to use this or oh, this button for the pants.
really sure what I should go for. I'm very excited to check out this, but I received this one yesterday. And this one I had for some time, but I still didn't start doing this. I was waiting for spring. And yeah, I think I want to know everything about couture sewing for the pants and maybe after ideas from this pattern I will apply it to this one so let's see Uh, when I was preparing things oh, for short dresses for each wardrobe blog posts I have to sing so many bloggers and so many short dresses as I told you I, I was like no short dress is not for me it doesn't serve my curves it's like no no to me so I've decided to make a short dress for myself it's going to be an experimental sewing for me and for the short dress I decided to go for this pattern I'm kind of super scared and super excited because this is not actually uh, how I see myself, my general silhouette but uh, I want to make some changes I've been asking Alejandro what he can see what I can make a change or something and he was like with very serious scientific face he told me that I should try viscose I was like yeah, if I use viscose for this dress and make it kind of it will make it more like falling down from from the sides will be more much more softer it will not look completely like original design but I like the I like the idea and I like the kind of these lower sleeves they're not of a normal shirt they kind of they have different cut and I really like it but uh, here on the other side on the other side uh, on the back what I want to do I think I'm going for the short sleeves and for the back, uh, I want to continue a little bit more the, the elastics there, so uh, the back will be more pronounced. Yeah, this is kind of those ideas I want to apply to the short dress. You should definitely check out uh, Ellie Kat, Kat, Kat in a wardrobe. She ma she's made maybe two or three variants of this dress and they are so beautiful. Uh, very soon, uh, very soon there will be a blog post about kind of short dresses with something special on H wardrobe. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is about this. Another, another blue pair of pants apart from mine right and uh, yeah let's see how it's going to come out I'm going to make again those full butt adjustments for him it just 
solves all the problems of the fitting for him. I'm so happy I, I've learned it. <laughs> myself uh, from the slope I told you I, I want to make for the skirt for, for, for my curves and yeah let's see how it's going to come out I'm so excited jersey top I was going for experimental kind of cropped as you remember from my spring sewing uh, if if you are missing some parts check out the spring sewing video spring sewing plants video there are kind of more explanation about what I'm going to do in spring and how I came up with the list all of those ideas are based on the ebook I recently released of H wardrobe designing your designing your handmade wardrobe in a creative, fashionable and sustainable way. So, uh, the jersey top, which I want to make, uh, this is kind of experimental sewing for me, it's going to be cropped length. And I chose turquoise because it's spring and I want something juicy, something bright. Uh, yeah, I also want to draft it myself from the slopper which I want to draft. Yeah, that is just too many ideas. <laughs> sewing something as you remember my ginger jeans I didn't finish last month so I moved them to this month uh, like pockets some top stitching thank you guys for they like the best of top stitching I ever could make with my machine and I'm still experimenting and I hope it will come out better next time but really this this is just literally the best I could I could squeeze out of her. I'm so happy that I can use those stitching thread now. Thank you so much for your suggestions. Uh, those those jeans are in all 
in construction now, so I hope to finish them very soon and show them to you. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope I could inspire you and you can create your own sewing list for yourself. And yeah, thank you so much. Happy sewing. Don't forget to check my, and my other channel. Uh, and talk to you soon. Bye.